Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. If you've never been here before, I have not filmed a sit down video like talking to the camera in a really, really long time. It feels like it feels like it's been like at least three months. I've been doing a lot of singing videos and stuff. I have been enjoying music and it's been helping me a lot like getting through things in my life right now. But I'm finally getting back into like wanting to talk to you guys and connect because that's one of the main purposes why I do YouTube is to connect with you guys. So I'm on summer break now. Today was my last day of school and I figured I would do a QA. and a I asked you guys on Instagram to ask questions and if you missed this time, I'm sure I will do plenty of other Q&As down the line, but let's get right into this because there's quite a few questions and I'm going to try to answer a majority of them. The first one says, what's your favorite pump and why? My favorite pump is the Omnipod, that's currently what I have too. It's on my stomach right now, but that's my favorite pump because it's tubeless and it's easier to run with. I used to have the T-Slim which had a tube and it was a great pump, but it just wasn't for me personally. Are you planning on doing any new songs in the near future? I love your voice and you're so pretty. Thank you so much. Yes, I am planning on doing lots of songs actually. I want to try to start writing songs. I don't know how soon those are going to be coming out, but I have like at least four songs that I'm working on right now to get ready, so don't worry, there's going to be tons of music, like that's something I'm really passionate about right now, so I really want to incorporate that on my channel, but I also want to start incorporating vlogs and stuff like talking and connecting with you again, so I'm kind of going to be uploading a lot more now that it's summer because I have time to film and edit and everything. Goals for your future. I have a lot of goals. My short term goals for YouTube, I want to hit 20,000 subscribers before the school year starts again, which I know we can definitely do that if I put the effort into making videos and stuff, for sure. I want to get into really good shape and do really good at cross country this season and get some PRs. Basically just put all of my effort into everything that I do, if that makes sense. That's kind of my goal. Who is your favorite music artist? I have lots of favorites, and then I also just have favorite songs that I don't necessarily know the artist at all. I kind of just found the song and I liked it. I really love Dean Lewis. I like Sam Smith, Bruno Mars, Adele, Demi Lovato. Those are kind of my top favorites. I like Maroon 5, and then there's also a bunch of other songs that I find that I like, but those are like artists that any song that they released, I normally like it. What are some tips that you have for doing cross country with T1D? My main one is to take Gatorade and use that as a low treatment. Not necessarily as a low treatment, but as a way to prevent low blood sugar. So if you're turning down, kind of just sip on it and it kind of helps to keep it up some. It doesn't always work. Not every time does it work because I definitely go low a lot. And then another thing, if you have an insulin pump, is to do a decrease in your basal rate, and it takes some fine-tuning to figure out what works best for you, because I started out doing a certain amount of decrease for a certain amount of hours, and it didn't work, so I had to adjust it. Finally, I figured out that 80% decrease for three hours works best for me. Definitely don't need three hours anymore. I think I can do a shorter amount of time, but who knows? We'll just have to see, because even me now compared to last year is going to be different so we'll just have to see and you just kind of have to figure out what works best for you how tall are you i am five five and a half i think i don't know i've been five five for a long time i want to be five six like just next level but why you smell i don't know why do you smell how do you get used to giving large amounts of insulin it scares me for some reason girl i used to have the same problem you kind of just get used to it honestly so I used to be scared to take more than five units and now I can take like 10 and be perfectly fine. Another thing that helps with that is having a Dexcom, so being able to constantly see your blood sugar. Um, but if you don't, it kind of just takes time to get comfortable with doing that. How did you and Abby become friends? Me and Abby became friends because she was watching my channel and then I think she DM'd me on Instagram or something and then we got Snapchat. It's almost been a year since we've known each other, so it's been quite a while. And now we Snapchat every single day, so it's really cool. How did Annie go? Well, you were posting videos from it. Annie went super well. If you guys didn't know, I was in my school's drama club and we did Annie. It was a lot of fun. It was definitely different than anything I've ever done before, but it was also really a really cool experience and a really cool thing to be a part of because everyone became like really close, I feel like, because we stayed some days until like seven after school. So we had long nights there, we would eat dinner together, 
It was a lot of fun. Do you know what you want to do when you graduate high school? So I know I've answered this in previous Q&As, but my answer has changed every single time. As of right now, I want to do something with mental health. I'm thinking about either a therapist, a psychologist, something of that sort, just working with people and talking them through their problems and just like helping people with mental illnesses and everything like that. Where have you been? I just haven't been uploading and when I have been uploading I've been doing music because it's been helping me through life. I was honestly just trying to get through school. I knew once I made it through then I would be good. Then I could start working on myself, bettering myself, becoming a better person, loving myself for who I am, everything like that and just like overcoming difficult times that I went through. So basically I've just been kind of trying to get through some things and now hopefully I am back for good and uploading a lot more. How long have you had T1D for? I've had T1D since October 9th, 2015, so it will be four years this October, I believe. If you could go back and have the choice of never being diagnosed with T1D, would you choose that? Definitely not. It has shaped me to be the person that I am today. I've met so many people through having diabetes and I've made so many amazing friends through it. It's made me mentally stronger, it's made me just a better person, I feel like. What would you have liked to tell yourself when you were first diagnosed with T1D? Okay, so, whenever I was first diagnosed, I kind of had a mental block and I was like, not accepting all the stuff that I had to do. So I was like, oh, this is whatever. I don't know. I can't really remember my exact reaction but I remember not realizing how much of a big deal it is and how much my life was going to change. One thing is that it gets easier through time, like a lot easier, and also use social media to your advantage. It's really nice now because there's a lot of people, I wouldn't say a lot, but there's people that do YouTube with diabetes and you can reach out to them. There's a Beyond Type 1 app, which is basically like Instagram for type 1 diabetics. It's really, really cool. You can direct message with people, you can post stuff and ask questions and people can help you out with anything that you need help with. So there's just lots of ways to reach out and meet people that are going through the same thing as you and just to show you that you aren't alone. That's the main thing to remember is that you aren't alone and there are people out there to help you and support you through everything that you're going through because they've been through the same thing as you. How do you manage to stay confident about your diabetes even when people are not nice? Uh, this is really, really hard. I don't always stay confident about it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't have this. But honestly, in the long run, I am glad that I was diagnosed because like I said, it shaped me to be the person that I am today and it's made me a better person, I think. But honestly, you just have to remember those people most likely don't know what they're talking about because if they did they wouldn't be mean about it. If they lived through it they would not be making mean statements about it. So you just gotta remember that they just aren't educated about it and you know what they're saying isn't true so just try not to take it to heart and know that what they're saying probably isn't true. Can we hang over summer? 100% yes. What grade are you in? I was a freshman, today was my last day of school, so next year I'll be a sophomore. Do you plan on participating in more plays or musicals in the future? Definitely, for sure. Um, it's going to be kind of hard because this year it was hard dealing with the play and track at the same time. So I don't know if I'm doing track next year. I, I'm thinking about it. Uh, it's still 50-50, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely doing the play because it was so much fun. And it was just fun like getting to be creative in that way rather than just running and doing sports. It was cool to like express myself in a different way at school. Do you have a boyfriend? Hmm. No. <laughs> and the last one is, are you planning to get a different insulin pump soon? Um, as of right now, I don't think I'll ever switch from the Omnipod just because it's tubeless. If there's another tubeless option that I like better than the Omnipod, then I'll switch to it. But as of right now, Omnipod is the only tubeless insulin pump out there, and that's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm interested in, that's what I think works best for me because I'm a runner and it just is so much easier. You can swim with it on, you can take showers with it on, so it's just like a lot easier for my lifestyle personally. So as of right now, I don't think I'll ever switch. And those are all the questions, so thank you to everyone that asked one, and I apologize if I didn't get to yours. There was a lot, and I tried to get to a majority of them. Some of them were kind of repeats, so I kind of just answered it and generalize the question into one. 
So hopefully I answered all your questions. If you have any other ones, as always, you can comment them down below. I try to reply to most of the comments. So feel free to do that. Feel free to DM me on Instagram if you ever have any questions. Go ahead and check out the Beyond Type 1 app. It's really, really cool. So I think it's a long one. I can't really see the thing from this far away. I think it says like 16 minutes, but after I edit it, it'll be a little bit shorter. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you're excited about me getting back to like making videos where I talk to you again and do vlogs, day in the lives and things like that. I'm also going to be doing a lot of music, so hopefully you guys are enjoying those. Please let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the music stuff and also what other videos you want to see in the future. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for always sticking by me, supporting me through everything that I've been through and understanding when I need to take breaks from the channel and stuff and just haven't been uploading as much. I really appreciate you all so much more than you know, and I will see you next time, hopefully very, very soon. Bye, guys.